Welcome to an introduction of the LMC Power Standards, where school library media programs are at the core of learning and library media specialists work in partnership with classroom teachers to design, implement, and assess research projects that focus on specific standards. I'm Dale Truding, Assistant Superintendent of Student Learning, and I would like to introduce Susie Rabat, an LMC Teaching and Learning Consultant who was an LMC Director in District 25 and a Teaching and Learning Facilitator in District 25. She is an author of six books for children that are all related to information media literacy skills. The purpose of our presentation is to provide you with an introduction to District 25 K-8 LMC Power Standards, how the standards evolved, the organization of the standards, the role of LMC directors and classroom teachers in the implementation of the standards, and the implementation plan. The roles of the teacher, the student, and the LMC director have changed significantly over the past five years due to the amount of information available 24-7, the development of new technology tools, the results of the NAEP scores in the United States, the introduction of the Common Core Standards, the focus on the new skills, habits, and attitudes students will need to attain in order to be college and career ready. D25 believes that students need to own their learning in order to be ready for life and a career as a lifelong learner. D25's Vision 2020 and Wired Framework have also influenced this document. There has never been a time in education quite like the 21st century. It is the only century where knowledge seeking by the masses is a daily activity. Due to this change in paradigm, it is critical that D25 students learn to generate questions, locate and use information, and share their knowledge to a broader learning community, beginning in kindergarten. It is also important that the district provides a written curriculum that is used collaboratively by all teachers and LMC directors in order to ensure that all students are having multiple opportunities to complete short focus research tasks as well as sustained research. It is not about the product produced, but rather about the research process. The research process involves a variety of skills that need to be learned and practiced. These skills are outlined in the ELA Common Core Standards and the AASL Standards for the 21st Century Learner. By launching the implementation of the LMC Power Standards this year, we are positioning our students to be able to apply these skills in multiple situations, including when they will be required to take the PARC assessments beginning in 2014. I would like to share with you the process of how the District 25 LMC Power Standards evolved. In 2007, the American Association of School Librarians published the standards for the 21st century learner. They were published in order to provide a framework for learning in an information-powered world. A close look at this comprehensive document reveals that, believe it or not, there are 55 benchmark skills identified just for fifth grade. So many standards and such limited contact with students. What do we teach in the Library Media Center that truly matters? How do we identify the knowledge and skills every student needs to learn prior to leaving the current grade? Simultaneously, the District 25 Assessment Committee was investigating the concept of power standards developed by Larry Ainsworth. According to Larry Ainsworth, power standards are prioritized standards that are derived from a systematic and balanced approach to distinguishing which standards are absolutely essential for student success from those that are nice to know. They represent the safety net of standards students need for success in the next grade and beyond. Last year, as many of you remember, we received an overview of the ELA Common Core Standards. It became apparent that many of the skills and concepts addressed in the ELA Common Core Standards are also addressed in the Standards for the 21st Century Learner. It is important to note that the Common Core Standards were the filter used to identify the LMC Power Standards. 
we then made a decision to focus on approximately six ELA Common Core standards that address research, collaboration, technology integration, and presenting and sharing knowledge. As we study the power standards, you will notice that the Common Core standards were written in a developmentally appropriate manner. These are minimal expectations for all students. Some students will be able to go beyond grade level standards and the progression of skills allows this to happen, a natural way of differentiation. As you look at the slide, you will notice that research is the common thread that runs through all of the standards that we have identified. Before we take a look at the standards, we would like you to turn to someone near you and summarize what you heard and understood about the first part of our presentation. Before we start the next part of our presentation, we will give you a few moments to share your thoughts as a group. If you have any questions about the first part of the presentation, please write them in the box labeled Part 1 on your response sheet. At the end of this presentation, your LMC director and building administrators will collect your questions and address them in a timely manner. Now, let's take a look at the organization of this booklet. Please turn to the section labeled Skills at a Glance that follows the introduction. It will be approximately five pages into the document. The section entitled Skills at a Glance allows you to track the progression of Common Core benchmark skills from kindergarten to grade eight. The text in bold font indicates a word or phrase that was changed or added to the benchmark from the previous grade building rigor and depth from one grade to the next. A quick glance at the information in the table will give you a sense of what students accomplished in previous grades and what they will be expected to accomplish in the following grades. The power standards are color-coded for each grade level. Two pages are devoted to explaining and reflecting on each standard. I will refer to them as standards pages, which are printed on colored paper, and companion pages that are printed on white paper. Let's take a look at the standards page first. Choose a grade level, select a colored standard page, and we'll get started. The Common Core grade level benchmark is listed in the gray box at the top of the page. In this example, the abbreviation W-5.7 stands for Writing Standard, 5th Grade, Anchor Standard 7. The benchmark appears in the gray box below the standard. Again, words in bold font indicate a word or phrase that was changed or added from the previous grade level. The phrase that appears in bold font indicates the expectation that fifth grade students will use several sources when conducting their short research. In fourth grade, students used two or three sources when engaged in short research projects. Below the Common Core benchmark, to the left, is a column labeled Unpacking the Standard. When you unpack a standard, you analyze the language in terms of what the standard is asking students to know, understand, and do. The correlating AASL benchmarks are listed in the column to the right of Unpacking the Standards. These are the essential information literacy skills, media literacy skills, and technological literacy skills students must acquire to be effective users of ideas and information. The third section of the page is labeled Implications for LMC Instruction. The ideas listed here are suggestions of learning activities to support this standard. Although many of these learning tasks are directed toward the LMC director, they can also be directly implemented in the classroom. Connections to the National Educational Technology Standards, generally referred to as NETS for Students, appear on the bottom of the page. These standards are broad and general, not grade level specific. Sometimes only a portion of the NETS is addressed. However, they are very important standards and reinforce what the Common Core and the AASL standards are asking of students. If you are a kindergarten teacher, these may appear to be very lofty, 
you will be able to adapt them to meet the developmental needs of your students. Let's move on to the companion page that follows this standard. Each companion page is printed on white paper. Again, the Common Core benchmark appears at the top of the page in the gray box. This page is divided into two columns. Let's start with the Assessment column on the left. The assessment strategies and tools listed here are suggestions, just starting points. Most of these ideas are taken from Assessing for Learning, Librarians and Teachers as Partners by Vai Harada and Joan Yoshina. The focus is on formative assessment to guide instruction and student self-assessment. Self-reflection questions appear at the bottom of the page and can be used during or at the end of a research project. Who owns the learning? According to Art Costa and Bina Kalik, the purpose of self-evaluation is to have students learn to become self-reflective. If students graduate from our schools still dependent upon others to tell them when they are adequate, good, or excellent, then we've missed the whole point of what self-directed learning is about. Throughout the power standards, references are made to Harada's and Yoshina's book on assessment. Each LMC will receive two copies of the book, Assessing for Learning, available for teacher checkout. The column to the right of assessment addresses habits of mind. Habits of mind are the attitudes or dispositions successful people employ when faced with a problem that is not easily solved. Each habit is described in three sections. First, the habit is defined. Next, sample behaviors clarify what this habit looks like in action. Finally, the stages of development show the shift from teacher in control to student in control. This important shift is necessary for students to develop ownership of this disposition. The stages can be incorporated in student self-assessment tools or used for reflection at the end of a project. Before we talk about implementing the standards, we would like you to take a minute to walk around the room and find someone not at your grade level. Please summarize what you heard and understood about the organization of the power standards. Before we start the last part of the presentation, we will give you a few moments to share your thoughts as a group. If you have any questions about the organization of the standards booklet, please write them on the response sheet in the box labeled Part 2. The LMC Middle School Power Standards will be implemented by the Middle School LMC Directors, the ELA Teachers, the Science Teachers, and the Social Science Teachers, with support from the CLC Teachers. The ideal goal is for each grade level team or content team to complete two short research projects that are co-designed, co-taught, and co-assessed with the LMC Director. However, if it is not feasible to implement two projects that are co-planned, co-taught, and co-assessed during this first year because of scheduling challenges, then one short research project should be completed with the LMC director and the other one should be planned with the LMC director and then implemented and assessed in the classroom. Research is a natural part of your social sciences, ELA, or science teaching. Classroom teachers, please remember you are not limited to just two short research projects per year. You may complete as many of these projects as you choose. The power standards will be there to guide you. There are multiple ways to create a blueprint at the middle school level. One way is to have all the sixth grade social science teachers work on the same short focused research project. And all sixth grade ELA teachers and all sixth grade science teachers to work on the same short focused research project. Another way is for all sixth grade teachers to complete short focused research projects one quarter, seventh grade teachers another quarter, and eighth grade teachers another quarter. A third way to implement these short focused research projects would be for the ELA teachers to work with the science teachers or the social science teachers on an integrated project for one quarter or two quarters. 
There are many different scenarios for working out a middle school blueprint. We are sure that together you will come up with even more meaningful ways to implement these projects. How lucky students will be at the middle school level to have so many opportunities to engage in short, focused research projects. In general, the research process includes multiple components that address a variety of skills, including building background knowledge, generating questions, locating and evaluating resources, reading, viewing, and or listening deeply, note-taking, synthesizing, constructing new knowledge, sharing, presenting new knowledge. From start to finish, a short research project should last no more than three days. It can be targeted to address one to two research skills as defined in the LMC Power Standards. It is important to remember that when teaching a short research project, you do not go through the entire research process. The research is driven by a content question or an essential question. In addition, all research should provide students with the opportunity to generate their own question. We realize that at the middle school level, research occurs more frequently than what we have suggested, but the hope is that the research projects that have been done previously will be adjusted to reflect the LMC power standards, which our standards District 25 will use. We also understand that many teachers work on sustained research projects at the middle school level. Please continue these projects and incorporate the power standards. The only school-wide research expectations for the 2012-2013 school year at the middle school level is short, focused research projects to be completed in ELA, social science, science, and global perspectives. When our presentation is completed, you will have an opportunity to study the standards as grade level or mixed grade level teams in your building to determine what short research projects you may want to address. Sharing these research projects as a staff will give everyone new ideas to think about. Your next task will be to work out a schedule with the LMC director so that all classes have equal access to the LMC and its resources. I know many of you are probably wondering, where will you find the time to introduce these new power standards? They will need to be implemented by 2014-2015 when the ELA Common Core Park Assessment will be launched. This assessment will replace the ISAT. As you are implementing the LMC power standards, please feel free to teach them as a substitution for some isolated skills that you may teach in your curricular area that are similar to some of the ELA standards in this document. You may also choose to just teach these as part of your social science unit or as an extension of one of your science units. Since some of the components of our curriculum will need to be changed in order to align with the Common Core ELA standards, the ELA, social science, and science standards, this will be a year of opportunity for you to document how you implemented the LMC power standards and what you eliminated in your curriculum area in order for this new implementation to occur. If you ever have any questions, please feel free to contact Dwayne Main, the new Director of Teaching and Learning, or me. The emphasis of this presentation has been on research, but we would like to remind you that the standards for the 21st century learner highlight two core approaches to learning, reading and inquiry. Please refer to the last two pages in your document to see how the LMC supports reading and the Common Core. We have now concluded our presentation. Please turn to someone near you and summarize what you heard and understood about the implementation part of our presentation. We will give you a few moments to share your thoughts as a group. If you have any questions about the implementation part of the presentation, please write them in the box labeled Part 3. LMC directors and building administrators, please collect your questions and photocopy them. Then send a copy to DSL Attention Dwayne Main, Director of Teaching and Learning. To the future. <music>